Live at Lunch is brought to you by FOCO MA, the Fort Collins Musicians Association. Dedicated to creating greater recognition of local talent in the Fort Collins music scene. The association plans workshops, concerts, and events. More information is available at focoma.org. This is KRFC Fort Collins, and our next program is live. Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Live at Lunch here on 88.9. We're in the studio today with a trio, Corey Tyler, Brian Tyler, yes, they're brothers, and Logan Heilman, uh, a trio that will be performing, I believe, uh, not tomorrow night, but Sunday night, 6.30 p.m. at Hody's Half Note, information at 970-472-2034. Collectively, these folks are known as Blind Tomorrow. You want to do the first number, fellas? Yeah. Sit quietly. Oh, hear me, hear me. I'll beg you not to on my knees. Don't run, don't go. Hear me out, hear me plead. I know that I love you from the start. I plead, will you open your selfish heart? And stay. studio today with Blind Tomorrow. Information about this uh, group of folks can be uh, found on blindtomorrow.com, just like it sounds. Like I mentioned before, you're going to be playing uh, two nights from tonight, Sunday night, 6.30 p.m. at Hody's. Have you um, done much gigging uh, in the in this area, Fort Collins, Loveland? Uh, no, we're kind of new to this area. We played a show at um, Avo's last week. Uh, but other than that, that's been the first one. So these three kind of days are new to us. Good. But we're excited to get a new community of fans. And So, Corey and Brian, um, what was the, do you remember the, the, the point in time when you were kids where you said, yeah, I want to learn how to, how to sing and play music? Uh, oh, my gosh. Um, I, I wanted to perform since I was really little. And I remember... Um, 
making songs and performing them in the living room for my grandparents. And um, I don't know, my grandmother started teaching me guitar and from there I moved on to um, drums and bass and um, I eventually just kind of focused on vocals, but what about mm -hmm. you? Yeah, I think I just kind of uh, jumped onto the bandwagon probably around like seven or eight years old because I, Corey actually started playing the snare drum in a marching band and I thought that that was kind of mm. a cool thing. So I started drums and then learned that and then eventually moved on to guitar and now that's just kind of what I focus on is uh, uh, just playing guitar, you know? Yeah. So. What's uh, who's who's older? You're, you're both very young. What are you around? Twenty? Yeah, I'm, like I'm twenty. Yeah, I'm I'm eighteen. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're a little bit older. Yeah, just a few years than Brian. Um. What well, what was the uh? Let's say this is kind of a standard question for me to ask. But what was the first uh, band you ever saw live? And not just some mon pa local act, but first concert you actually got uh, got the Oh. Privilege to see. <laughs> That's a good question. My my first concert that I can remember was um, actually Reba McIntyre. <laughs> Do you remember what year that was? I I don't remember what year, but um, I just remember one song she came out and like this uh, red dress, and it was kind of really revealing. <laughs> and I was like, dang, <laughs> hot mama. <laughs> so I made an impression on yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember seeing, uh, which is kind of weird because this is like country as well, Montgomery Gentry. I remember seeing live mm. at one point. I think I was like maybe 12 or not even, no, I was a lot younger than that actually. I was like nine or something. But I remember seeing that for the first time and just kind of being blown away by the power of just uh, performance. Sure. And I think I just sort of fell in love with uh, the idea of performing in front of a, uh audience ever since then. Uh, give me the give uh, uh, all of us the uh, title of that first uh, song that you did. Uh, that was "Stay with Me." Stay with me. Is that um, available? Uh, as of right now, I don't believe so. Um, you have a four-song EP out. We do called uh, "Narrow Mind." And yeah, um, that came was, out what earlier this year in the. It was May? released last year of November, actually. Oh, November. Um, right. Uh, but yeah, those. Four songs we have, Let Me Be, Don't Wake Me, um, Who I Am, and Lost in a Dream. Uh, we're actually working on the full-length album right now, and I think we only have like one or two songs to record still, but um, Stay With Me will be the opening track to that album. To the full length. Yes. Yeah. All right. What would you like to do uh, next, fellas? Uh, we're going to play a short song called Grounded, okay. um, which, oddly enough, we recorded with Brian's ex-girlfriend <laughs> and her vocals are on it but um so Brian should enjoy this <laughs> oh geez cry fest all right here we go <laughs>
We're here in the studio today on Live at Lunch, KRFC 88.9, with uh, a trio, Blind Tomorrow. Blindtomorrow.com is the name of the website. You can get more information about these folks. Uh, basically, two brothers, Corey and Brian Tyler, and percussionist Logan Heilman. Um, you'll all be performing this Sunday night at Hody's. Yeah. It's, it's a fairly early start, 6.30 p.m. Yeah, um, the show the show will start at about 6.30. Uh, we actually go on around like 8, um, okay. 8 to 9-ish. Do you know if it's a 21 um, and up or uh, all ages? No, it's an all it's ages. All age, it yeah. is, okay. Yeah. That's good. And uh, they can just get tickets at the door? It's just At the door, okay. yep, you can get it. Um, I think they're $13 at the door right now at... Uh, I think it's myafton.com okay. or Afton Tickets. Okay. Uh, you can get them for $11. Okay. So $2 you save. It's awesome. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So the, uh, ultimately, you've gone in the studio more than once, but your finished uh, result so far has been a four-song EP. And do you have uh, vivid memories of how that process came together? And uh, if so, uh, what did you come away uh, learning from that experience, if you if you, if you can uh, encapsulate it, I you know for we we kind of took about six months to sort of just write the whole record that we have right now that we're finishing in the studio. Uh, those four songs were just kind of the beginning of what um, we felt that should have came across to the viewers, and that sort of I don't know. Um, the, the the memory that I have is just of uh, uh, just kind of making those songs in a basement <laughs> with just uh, Corey and I, and I don't know. I just it's just nice to actually be able to hear, you know, exactly every layer of guitar and every single layer of drums and vocals and everything you know actually recorded into a studio, you know, because we've never had that experience before, mm. and so it's just kind of nice to have uh, that sound for once, you know. Yeah, I think that was my favorite part too. Was it's just really difficult, just him and I, to kind of envision all of it put together. But when it's finally, when we went into the studio and started recording every track and hearing all the different layers, um, it was just, it seemed magical to actually see it complete. Yeah. I think it was just kind of like a very creative part in, um, in that era of creating that, you know. Hey, did you, uh, did you, as brothers in the family house, did you uh, hear a lot of music that resonates still with you? Mm, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> did your pa- um, were your parents music interested in music? Yeah, my mom, um, I don't know, she, she always has had uh, a very diverse um, range in what she liked to listen to. That's good. And so uh, I grew up, you know, listening to... Um, Sarah McLaughlin, um, oh my gosh, Tracy Chapman, Paul Cole, yeah, uh, <laughs> a lot just of more a lot of a lot of different things, um, but not just you know that genre perhaps, but then there was also R and B elements, rap elements, rock elements, mm-hmm. um, you know, Linkin Park, uh, I don't know, yeah, okay. so that yeah. kind of all came together, yeah, yeah, variety's good, definitely. Corey, you want to introduce the next uh, song you're going to sing? Yeah. Um, it's actually Let Me Be. We have a, a video for it. It's on YouTube. Um, and I believe it's the first song off the Narrow Mind EP. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. darkest place place. in my darkest place And people 
all say to keep looking up But I believe there's no Water left in my cup And if I could only Make my pain break or bend I'd turn it off I'd put it to yen, yeah I'd put it to yen KRFC Fort Collins. We're in the studio today on Live at Lunch with Blind Tomorrow. Information at blindtomorrow.com. That's the address of their website. Going to be performing uh, two nights from tonight. In fact, Sunday night, 6.30 um, is the start time. But as mentioned before, you'll be starting probably to play around, what, 8-ish? 8-ish. Something like that. It's an all-ages program that evening at Hody's Half Note. Information at Hody'sHalfNote.com or 970-472-2034. When did you start first writing uh, music together as brothers? Oh, God. Um, What age do you think you were? I know that I was 13 at the time. So I would have been about 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah. And we've, we've been in like multiple bands before this. But we never have actually uh, written anything together, like as just like the two of us until now. Yeah. Um, no, I mean the the last band that we we had. Um, I was kind of writing the majority of it, and then Brian kind of came in and um, I don't know helped me with that. And uh, we made a trip out to California in the summer to visit our family, and. Um, we played a few songs for them, and they said, "You know, why, why are you with this other band? Why don't you just do it? <laughs> you know, just yeah. the two of you. You guys sound amazing together." And so um, it kind of took, you know, them saying that to us to for us to see that we should be writing music, just the two of us. Yeah. Do you remember how you arrived at the name Blind Tomorrow, and could you con- convey concisely what those two words together? Uh... What the significance is? Originally, our our band title was actually just the the name tomorrow. Just the idea of not knowing what's coming, you know, ahead of you, and just kind of living in the present. And you know, as a kid, I used to have problems with just kind of like look living in the past, you know, and always regretting things and kind of uh, not knowing where to go from there. And we've actually found out that there was like a 1960s band. That was actually named Tomorrow. In fact, yeah, it was uh, the guitarist in that group later um, joined the band. Yes, his name is Steve Howe. 
And, right. Yeah, they're pretty pretty interesting kind of psych rock from that yeah. Day, mm-hmm. late yeah. 60s. Yeah. And, you know, we, huh. we just had no idea. So we were like, oh, sure. well, this is kind of like a ripoff. You know, we can't <laughs> just take that name from no. somebody. <laughs> yeah. And so we decided to uh, later on uh, well, add after, the word blind. Yeah, after a lot of brainstorming, yeah. we added the word blind. But um, to me, it kind of means um, just basically, I don't know, um, giving a blind, you know, a better and blind tomorrow like um there's no prejudice and um we're just all working together and i don't know we come together as one so. yeah well you want to come together as one on the next tune and introduce what you're going to play Absolutely. i'd say so <laughs> uh this one's called stack and <laughs> we haven't played it in a while so forgive me <laughs> <laughs> tried not to mess it up yeah. know that what you took I can never get back But you never give in a care I was just a trophy in your stack I know that you would hurt Anyone to make them feel like you Catching them with your haunting lure There is nothing that you wouldn't do And you stole my innocence Left me in a stack of shame But I will rise above this Climb my way atop this pain Let the rain fall down Cause I will never run from any cloud There are no horrors that you could bring I will overcome Anything, let the red fall down on me. And oh, you tore important parts of me into. Watch me scramble on my knees for the parts in front of you. And you robbed my confidence, but I got back up again. Found that everything you've done has made me stronger in the end. Let the rain fall down. I will never run from any clouds. There are no horrors that you could breathe. Eighty-eight point nine KRFC live at lunch. We're here with Blind tomorrow. Corey Tyler, Brian Tyler, and Logan Heilman. 
Speaking of overcoming, um, do you remember where you were this past summer when you heard the news about the uh, Aurora Theater Massacre? Actually, that was the night that we had a show at the Oriental Theater. Um, and I, I myself am a huge, like, huge, huge Batman fan. So I wanted to go to the movie after the show, and we had enough time. Um, so I was kind of pushing everybody to, to go along. But um, Brian and my friend Clay, they kind of wanted to end the evening and go home. So I was Clay's ride to the show, so I had to drive him back. So um, we missed the show, but when I was driving Brian home, we actually saw the cops um, headed towards the theater that um, we were going to go to. And um, the next morning I woke up and I, I saw the news. And I don't know, I just think, you know, we're kind of blessed. To, somebody was watching over us, <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, and it's just weird, you know, because we have went to that movie theater for years and years and years. And, you know, it's just weird to know that we were actually on our way. And I don't know. I mean, we probably something would have happened if, you know, in my the back of my mind, if I didn't think, you know, God, I'm so tired, you know, <laughs> It's just, it's a blessing, like he said, you know, to know that um, I, that we didn't end up getting hurt or anything. Yeah, um, yeah I had a, a, quite a few friends, actually, who were injured in that whole situation. And I don't know, it's just, I'm just, thank God that none of them actually died or anything. But um, it's still quite a terrible thing, you know. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, approximately 30 minutes left. It, it, yeah, I know it's really hard to believe that almost half of Live at Lunch for today has <laughs> passed. Uh, I just want to no. give a, a couple of acknowledgments. First of all, excellent job uh, on the sound engineering from Jordan uh, back here in the booth. Uh, my name's Dean. Uh, I want to encourage anyone who's uh, really interested in KRFC Community Radio Outreach to get involved in this radio program we call Live at Lunch, you can go to the website, krfcfm.org, and everything there is pretty much laid out for you. You can uh, navigate and decide in what capacity you'd like to get involved. Um, what would you like to do next, fellas? Uh, actually, let's go ahead and play a track off of our um, EP. Okay. I believe we're playing Don't Wake Me, and we also have a video made for it. Um, you can check that out on YouTube. Uh, we recorded it on a trip that we made to California to play a few shows out there um, in the towns where our families are at. Um, so let's do that, and we'll play a song called Dreamer after.
88.9 KRFC for Collins. We're here uh, with Blind Tomorrow. That is uh, two songs in a row from their EP, Narrow Mind. Uh, first, Don't Wake Me, and then Who I Am. In the studio here with Corey and Brian Tyler and Logan Heilman. Brian, I'm going to put you on the spot on this one. All right. What are the things you relate to most about Harry Potter, the, the, the character? Oh, man. Um... I know that's a tough question, but I'm just asking you to dig deep. I would just say that um, I would say the glasses for one, you know, because I I'm <laughs> okay. pretty blind myself, so I have to uh, I have to wear glasses. I think I can relate to that. Um, number two, I have a scar on my eye actually, right down here that I got when I was in the first grade, okay. and from playing like tire tag, I accidentally uh, smacked my head on the uh, one of the tires. Anyways, besides the point, and then um, I've always wanted to do magic ever since I saw that whole uh, series of movies. <laughs> so I think I can relate to that. There you go. I think okay. That's, that's a pretty, straightforward answer. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> there you go. That's my, I, I'd say that's it right there. <laughs> we're, we're in the studio with a trio known collectively as Blind Tomorrow. Just like it sounds, blindtomorrow.com for further information. They're playing a gig this Sunday night uh, at Hody's Half Note. It starts early at 630 you can catch Blind tomorrow somewhere around 8 o'clock on Sunday night. Hodieshalfnote.com or information also at 970-472-2034. Want to introduce the uh, next tune you're going to play live? Yeah. We're, yeah. It's uh, called Dreamer and then Lost in a Dream. Yeah, it's kind of a two-part thing. Uh, we actually came up with Dreamer, though, for um, the massacre at Century 16. And... Um, we just played this kind of tribute song and made a video uh, and put it on YouTube right after the tragedy happened. So um, here that goes. And then Lost in a Dream. Let us be dreaming 
that us not pretend I've got so much more that I can get I've got so much more life to live
You're listening to Live at Lunch on KRFC. We're in the studio with Blind Tomorrow, blindtomorrow.com. Speaking of um, movies, and I know this is completely a 180, but Corey, you're a, uh, among other hobbies you have, um, you're into cinematography, right? I am. If you could make a documentary yourself, personally make a documentary about any subject, what subject would that be? Any subject? Pick one. Yeah. Mm. The dolphins? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually think I would probably make a documentary about um, just artists getting getting started and um, trying to get on on the road and. Um, also kind of seeing how it is on the road, maybe. Um, I don't know, just the the life behind artists, I guess. Um, what kind of goes into making the music and blood, sweat, and tears and cigarettes and <laughs> and piss on. And <laughs> no. Um, no, but that, that would probably be the documentary. Yeah. Okay. Brian, this question is for you. <clears throat> If you were, were to spend just one hour with Zoe Deschanel, what, oh would my you, goodness. what do you think you would be talking oh about? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, talking about. Um, mm, if there was um, any talking going on. <laughs> sure. Well, I, what would you I would, say to her if you met her? Looking through my eyes. I would probably just... <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I would say, honestly. I would probably just attempt to seduce her with my guitar somehow really um <laughs> no just joking i would i would want to talk about um the environment with her i don't know why she just seems kind of like a down-to-earth person <laughs> Down <-to -earth. laughs> and I, I don't know i've always for some reason i just have always wanted to talk about uh uh how to better the environment with her i don't know why it just seems like she would be like it, that would be like a really cool um conversation to have with Zoe Deschanel. I don't know why. She seems like an interesting person. No, yeah, for definitely, sure. Definitely, definitely. I don't like her singing voice. Yeah, oh, yeah, she and him, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. We've got about 13 minutes left in the Live at Lunch program for today. A quick reminder, Hody's Half Note, this Sunday night, you can catch Blind tomorrow at around 8 o'clock. The music will start on Sunday night around 6.30. Information at Hody's Half Note dot com or 970-472-2034. Introduce the uh, next uh, song you're going to play, fellas. Um, I believe we're going to play Blackbird. Um, or we could play, yeah, actually, let's play Damned. Why not? <laughs> let's just go for it. All right, so this next one's called Damned. Is this an original? Yes. Listen to your mother or Maybe you could have learned How does it feel To wish you would have never been alive How does it feel To wish you would never survive you were dead from the start. You watched your whole life fall apart. You let the flames rise and spread. And now every thing in its path is dead. Always said that you'd be something And look at where you are Well, there I 
we flush to your ankles You never got too far Does it feel to wish you would have lived a better life? How does it feel to wish you would never survive? You were dead yeah. from the start. Watch a whole life fall apart And you let the flames rise and spread And now everything you get is past the end day Yes Damn you Damn the night, damn those years, damn these fears, damn your life. But you were dead, yeah, yeah. From the start, you watched a whole life fall apart. You let the flames rise and spread, and now every day. Damn your life. Another uh, original composition from Corey and Brian Tyler, the Tyler Brothers. You must have considered naming this musical group the Tyler Brothers. Well, we, we actually <laughs> uh, were thinking about naming it Stone Tyler at one point because our... Uh, mom's side of the family or our mom's mom's side of the family is actually called so, stone and we always thought that that was a cool last name but that ended up falling through yeah i don't know i think blind tomorrow worked out a yeah. ton better maybe if somebody was like one of us was like a solo artist i feel like that'd be kind of like a <laughs> right now introducing Just stone, stone. Tyler. <laughs> i don't know no, but we definitely did consider it. <laughs> there would all also be a pretend, potential for stereotypical connotation to that name, possibly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> Corey, you're, a, you're an avid reader. The last book you read was titled A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Future. What was the moral of that, of that story, that book? The moral? Uh, basically, I mean, it was just about... Um, I don't know, just kind of taking, taking life, um, at kind of a slower pace, just kind of feeling things out, and um, you know, just don't rush ahead of yourself, and and take the time to to know what you want to do, and actually go for it, um, make your you know dreams come true, um, and put the effort into it. So, okay, Brian, if you could meet George Orwell. What would you? What was the? What would be the first thing you'd want to ask George Orwell if you could meet him? George Orwell. Yeah, he um, wrote the book 1984, which you know, I is uh, famous. I would probably look straight into his eyes and say, "You were probably the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life." <laughs> you know, just because I mean, everything that he said is basically true. I mean. And just the way that he wrote it about how it was going to happen in 1984, it actually happened. It seems like it's been happening uh, even sooner than that, actually. Um, just the idea of how uh, Big Brother is watching you and uh, how the government has just basically looking at you in a different perspective all the time. And I feel like that's kind of how this country is run. You know, I definitely am a firm believer in the Illuminati. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 
If you like any kind of Orwellian themes and you respect where that mindset is coming from, uh, a must-see, in my opinion, is the movie Brazil. Brazil? Have you seen it? I haven't. Mm -hmm. I have not. It, it's, it's utterly uh, shockingly good, but it's not your average movie. Hmm. Yeah, Especially if you, can, if you can yeah. relate to Monty Python's <laughs> politics, you can relate to the Orwellian outlook that right, they put together right. in the form of a movie called Brazil. It's huh. very bizarre, but uh, it, it, it causes one to uh, reflect deeply oh, yeah. about life. <laughs> what year was it put out? Which is great. That was, uh, a re I think it was released the end of 1985. Really? Okay. Or early 86. That's when I saw it. Right. Early 86. Hmm. All right, fellas, we've got so uh, about five minutes left in Live at Lunch today. Uh, again, we're here in the studio with Blind Tomorrow. Blindtomorrow.com is the website. They'll be performing uh, not tomorrow night, but Sunday night right here uh, in Fort Collins at Hody's Half Note. That is December 16th. 6.30, music begins. Blind Tomorrow will probably be on stage somewhere around 8 o'clock. Information at 970-472-2034. We got uh, time for one more tune. Fellas, uh, what, what would you like to play? Okay, uh, we will play Blackbird, and uh, this kind of goes out to uh, my grandfather. So here's to you, Papa. <laughs> I'm a worm and you're king in this valley Your dark eyes fixed on my final act Many times you had the chance to take me Patiently you waited till my sun went black Humble worker just try to keep life steady And pave a road fit for others in the ground I'm washed up now but it's okay I'm ready I know my brothers are alright they're safe and sound Blackbird sitting on a fence post will fly me away I know there aren't any scarecrows to frighten you away And you'll chime on, but I spoke my last note So carry it today A blackbird sitting on the fence post will fly me away Fly me away song keeps everything in tune Whistle it, then add me to your tally I'm put at peace by a simple croon Not a servant just going through the motions Working harder than I probably ever should Now I watch my son sing in the ocean And I know I've lived all the life I could Blackbird sitting on the fence Fly me away I know that And you'll try board, but I spoke my last note So carry it today A blackbird sitting on the fence post Fly me away Fly me away Love me. 
Thank you for listening to Live at Lunch on KRFC Fort Collins. Live at Lunch airs five days a week, noon to one, Monday through Friday. Right here on 88.9 FM. If you're interested in performing on Live at Lunch, fill out a submission form on our website at krfcfm.org. If you'd like to volunteer to help produce Live at Lunch, give us a call at 970-221-5075. Thanks for listening to Live at Lunch and stay tuned for more great music on KRFC.